Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Hey, I'd like to apologize for the last video. It went on a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but uh, this video won't go on nearly as long, I promise. So in this video, I want to talk about the fade to uh, jQuery method that deals with effects as well. It's the last one of the fades. There's four of them. So we knocked three out. Let's talk about this one. And this is a great jQuery effect when you don't want to delete your font element or background or whatever element you're selecting all the way. We can give it an opacity of how much we'd like to delete it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and delete circle number two. Let's just go ahead and use our black circle for this example. You could take this out or leave it in. It's up to you. So I'm going to come up here, look at our fade stuff. Okay, we can quickly pull this out. We've got our button click. Do we have our button down there still? Yeah, button. Release the hounds. It's good. All right, so let's go up here. Let's take out circle number two. And right here, it's fade two. Very easy. This is a very, very, very easy jQuery method. And in here, inside of parameters, there's two things that go on. We have our timing, which is set to 4,000 right now. But what does that even mean? What is it set to? Well, it's set it to our opacity. And opacity goes from anywhere from 0 0.00 to 1.0. So if you really want to be specific and set it to 55%, uh, live your life but I would never go to the hundreds columns. So for this sake, I'll go ahead and give it 25% because it's black. If I give it 65%, it's only gonna get a little bit lighter, but 25%, uh, you'll definitely see it get a lot lighter. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and open this up with a text editor. And let's go ahead and get a browser. Release the hounds. So when I click this, this should, and what was our timing? What do we have set to four seconds? Four seconds, that's correct. So it should deplete pretty much all the way. One, two, three, four. Twenty-five percent of the opacity is still there. And opacity is just the color depth of our font, picture, or any element. Obviously, if you have something out, uh, just by default it's at one hundred percent. You can play around with the opacity, see what fifty percent looks like. Let's reload this. Still kinda there. A little bit more. Let's see what 75% looks like. It'll be three quarters of the way there. Let's reload it. Okay, nothing. So you couldn't really change. So play around with this. This is fade two. Very, very, very easy jQuery method that deals with effects. Uh, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions with this, let me know. It's just fade two. Four letters less than toggle and you go ahead and add on your opacity. So that's what it does. Fade 2 deals with your opacity. Here's your speed. Here's your opacity. Here's our button. Good luck.